Hola amigos, hola amigas. Welcome, bienvenido, crazy salam. Welcome to the channel, y'all. Today we're going to be doing a review of this product I bought on Amazon for £25.99, 13% off it. It is the 1.25 litre barista quality style coffee, drip coffee maker. So I thought, right, okay, I'll give this a go. I'm not really one for making uh, coffee like this. I prefer to have a decent instant uh, coffee. But I thought I will get one for making tea. I haven't had one of these for donkey's years. So this is my own product that I bought with my own money for you to have a go. So this is made by Tower. I have had other Tower products before. Um, to be honest, they've been pretty good. Let's get this coffee maker out of the box. Whoa! Not much to these, to be honest. That's quite a nice size um, jug, carafe, whatever you want to call it, for me for making tea in, so that's pretty good. Uh, it's got a heat plate on it. Not really much to these, you basically plug them in and go. So let's take a closer look. Okay, so that's what you get in the box with the instructions and a warranty on it. At the top is where we have the drip feature. This contains a permanent uh, washable nylon filter, so you don't have to keep looking for paper um, filters. Uh, that's the part there with the non-drip function, so you can be using it take the coffee out it'll stop dripping you might have one or two drips but then you can carry on then if you wanted to uh, carry on brewing but you couldn't wait to the end for your coffee you could get the first one maybe it would be a little bit weak and a little bit cool anyway not much to this this has a little handle on it as well to pull it out so that fits in like so to one side fill up the water there there is i believe Yep, there is a water level indicator there. Goes up to 10 cups. Put in your coffee, close the lid, press on, and then it'll start to drip your coffee. Once it's finished, then it'll go into heating mode, but I still wouldn't recommend going into um, having a coffee uh, stand in there for more than two hours. It's gonna taste a bit bleh, but I'm gonna be using it for tea. So the first thing I have to do is to wash these out before I use it and then run it on a clean cycle so that I don't, uh, you know, to get rid of any impurities. So let's get that done first. Okay, I've got the parts cleaned. I've given it a wipe over. It is so light. It's light as a feather, very light. Anyway, let's pop in the top and the filter. If I turn it on the side there, you can see the markings. Let's fill it up. I'm gonna fill it up to the 10 cup mark. Voila. That puts a bit more weight onto it. Close the lid. Put the container underneath. I've got a stopwatch here, yeah, so. Okay, so I've got the stopwatch set up, so when I press start, I'll press on here as well. There we go, on. Let's see how long it takes before we start getting the first drips. It's 16 seconds before the first drips have started to come through. See how long it takes to get through the entire thing. Okay, we're coming towards the end. The watermark has gone down. We're five minutes fourteen in. Still quite a way. It's not too loud, as you can hear. That's coming to the end.
And there we go. Six minutes and 40, say almost seven minutes then, to boil all that water, put it through. Thought it would have filled up the pot a little much. I've just heard the click, so that the heater plate is now on. I'm going to switch it off. Off it goes. Switch it off at the mains. I'm going to take a temperature reading of the ooh, liquid. So that's approximately 78 Celsius. 173 in Fahrenheit. Hot plate is reading 413, sorry, 211 Celsius, 413 Fahrenheit. So definitely keep it nice and warm. What I'm gonna do now, because that was the first run I wanted to put it through to clean it out. Let's rinse this out and we'll do a proper run. Okay, I've got everything ready to make my first drip tea. First of all, loose Yorkshire tea. Can't beat Yorkshire tea, I do love it. I have got a spoon here, let me just lift you up. A measuring spoon in my little pot of tea. So I'm gonna put in one, two, three, four, five. Each one of those level spoons is seven grams, by the way. Next, I'm gonna put in my water to fill it right up to the... Whoosh, that's hot. 10 cups. Up to the top. Close the lid. Oh, I turned it off at the mains, isn't it? Okay, it's on. Let's make some tea. the last of the fish. Oh, that is hot. Be careful when opening the lid. My tea grounds. inside the pot eighty Celsius one hundred and seventy six Fahrenheit let's pour my first cup I think I might have made it a bit strong it's not much grip on this thing I have to say probably because the surface of the cooker is a bit slippy some milk <laughs> yeah that's just a little bit strong for <laughs> builders tea or what let's pop in way made a mess two sugars let's give it a builders <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, so next time, do not put in that much more tea. Let's have a little sip. Nice, but bloody strong. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to put a bit more water. Let me turn it off. I'm going to put a bit more water in the top. Try and weaken it down a little bit, maybe. That'll do. 
that back on. Get a little bit of a weaker tea this time. And uh, I'm going to come back to you in an hour. Okay, so it's the following day. Uh, that tea we had was quite nice, but it was just a bit too strong. I've reduced the amount of tea in it now. So I'm gonna, oops, start it and brew a fresh pot of tea for today. So the tea has finished brewing. I can turn that off. I'm gonna put the jug of tea on my candlelight teapot warmer. Not wasting electricity. I'm just going to give the pot a little bit of a stir first. Temperature there is 71C, 160. Pour my first cup. That's better. Yes, this was just a wee bit strong. Let's have a little taste. Oh, by gum, that's Yorkshire tea at its best, that is. So I've just come to edit this video and I don't know where the ending is. I did actually film an ending of the following day making the third pot of tea. So I don't know what happened to it, but I'm sitting here doing the editing and it's just not there. So what I can say is that it's been absolutely fantastic. I've been putting the parts in the dishwasher, the mesh filter and the other parts and the, uh, the, the carafe, whatever you want to call it. And um, it's absolutely been fine. So I absolutely love it. I've got the amount of tea down to a tea, as they say. And um, yeah, I use it every morning and then I put it then on top of the candle uh, warmer. There's a little metal like springy thing that you put into the pot and that helps to uh, transfer the heat into the liquid inside the, um, the teapot. So that works really well. So the tower um, drip coffee maker that I bought Highly recommend it for making tea and for making coffee. It doesn't have to be just coffee. So I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.